Today we are breaking ground for our battery engineering lab here in Chattanooga. At the lab we will test our high voltage batteries that are locally built in the harshest conditions. So we will charge and discharge the batteries to make sure they work well in our vehicles and for our customers. To start we'll be doing all of the engineering validation for the battery packs and uh, components that are localized here in the US and we'll also be using the facility in the future to evaluate new technologies out of the region uh, to test them against our standards and also then share locally but also with the rest of the group worldwide. The Battery Engineering Lab is a continuation of the engineering expansion that we've been doing in the region and also a significant step forward to the plans to make Chattanooga the electric vehicle hub for Volkswagen in North America. Batteries validated here at the lab will be in the vehicles that are produced here in Chattanooga in 2022. Currently I'm leading the build out of the battery engineering lab and once we're operational I'll be leading our test team for validation efforts. What really excites me about this lab is all the state of the art equipment that we're going to have. We're going to have big climate chambers, powerful load cyclers, and we're going to have something rare for this area, an E-mast. It's a two-ton mast with a climate chamber, a load cycler. It's really cool. And the lab will enable us to work independently from third-party suppliers and it will allow us to reduce the cost. We'll be operational at the end of the second quarter in 2021. We have all of our major equipments already on order, so this groundbreak and building the actual facility to house the people and the equipment is the last piece of the puzzle to get all this completed. So we've added 25 additional headcount to the department in order to support this expansion. Uh, so far, we're about halfway through all the hiring. We are looking for engineers, whether it's electrical, mechanical, test engineers. We do still have a few more positions to fill before this is opened.